Welcome to Lasea class. I am your teacher, Jan Lasea. Today, let us learn how to create a delete record website. Let me demonstrate the delete record website. We need to input the ID number to delete the record. The data tables report below displays three records of the database. It shows the ID number, first decimal, second decimal, sum, and difference. I'm going to input the ID number to delete the record. For example, if I did not uh, input any ID number and I click the delete ID number, it will uh, show a message box that uh, the user will read, you must fill up the ID number. I click the OK button to close the message box. If I type a uh, ID number which is not uh, present, Say, for example, ID number 5. As we can see here, only three records uh, that exist in our uh, database. ID number 1, 2, and 3 only. So, if I input a um, ID number that does not exist and I click the delete ID number button, it will uh, display a confirmation box. Do you really want to delete the record? If I click yes, the message box shows that the record failed to delete. That means that uh, it did not uh, do anything. It did not delete any record because uh, the ID number 5 does not exist. I click the OK to close the message box. If I type now a existing ID number, ID number number 2, and then I click the delete ID number, it will display a confirmation box with a question, do you really want to delete the record, yes or no? And if I click now the yes button, it will uh, display a message box, feedback, the record is deleted successfully. And if I click the OK to close the message box, and then I look at the contents of the uh, list of records, the ID number 2 uh, was removed. Now, if I'm going to type another ID number, let's say I'm going to delete the uh, ID number 1, and then I click the delete ID number, it will uh, display a confirmation box. Do you really want to delete the record? I click yes to delete. And then the message box uh, shows a feedback that the record is deleted successfully. I click OK to close. Now we have only one record remaining, which is the ID number 3. If I uh, input ID number 3 and then click the delete ID number, and then the confirmation box once again prompt me, do you really want to delete the record? I click yes. The feedback, the record is deleted successfully. And then there are no more records to delete. If I click again the delete ID number and then I click the yes button, the record failed to delete because there is no more record. The, the database is empty. To delete record, we will use the standard query language command delete from statement. This delete from statement enables you to delete one or more or entire rows in a table. You have studied the structured query language or SQL in the subject database management system. Under the client side, which is the index.html, 
the div element with a id names loader dash wrapper and loader is used are used for the loading animation which appears a circling concentrated circles that appears at the center of the website to indicate that uh, the server the i mean the client uh, pc is um, uh, loading up the files coming from the server and then the user will wait must wait Under the client side, which is the index.html, I define a form that has no post and action properties and no ID name. This line will display a fade in and fade out of the text delete record. This uh, line will display a label. Please enter the ID number. This uh, line will place a text box beside the label with a ID name, identification, text ID number, and name, text ID number. This line will place a button beside the text box with a ID name or identification name, BTN delete, and a label delete ID number. Under the client side, which is the index.html, the following HTML element tags will define the physical appearance of a table with a ID name uh, example. It has five column headers, uh, namely ID number, first decimal, second decimal, sum, and difference. It has five column footers, namely ID number, first decimal, second decimal, sum, and difference. The body of the table has a ID number named rows. in which the JavaScript command or code will populate by fetching, by receiving the fetch records from the uh, server PHP. And it will populate in this body of the table. The body of the table, uh, I mean this table is used by the data tables report to display a list of records. Under the client side, which is the index.html, these codes are the definition of the click event handler method, method for the button delete ID number. When the user clicks the button delete ID number, it displays a confirmation box or a message box that prompts the user with a question, do you really want to delete the record? This is a safe method whenever the user accidentally clicks the delete ID number button. When the user chooses the yes button, this line, this uh, action line, will invoke the function name delete record. If the user chooses the no button, there is no action to perform. This is the definition of the function delete record. Inside, the client PC runs the dollar $ajax command. The type is post. The URL is the or the URL or the action is the delete.php from the server. <coughs> I pass a uh, parameter 
value parameter, name, ID, text, ID, number. And I access the contents of the uh, input box or the text box that has a ID name, text ID name with a method val to retrieve what was entered by the user in that uh, text ID number text box. The data type or the type of package is XML. When the <clears throat> server processes the uh, information, the ID number to delete, the client PC will receive a XML package. And then, uh, under this success function, um, it will uh, uh, extract the package by uh, finding the um, uh, name called output that I define in the delete.php file. The name of the package is output. And then once that it found that uh, name of package name output, this line will uh, get the value from the output package, which is the result. And then it will display the result in a alert message box as a feedback, just like what we saw in my uh, demonstration, the feedback, like for example, the record successfully deleted or the record failed to delete. Finally, it will invoke the function fetch report to repopulate or refresh the data tables report. This is the SQL script to import the database name mat to the SQL database engine. You learn this uh, SQL commands from the database management system that it will first uh, drop the database if the name of the database uh, name mat exists. And then uh, after that, it will create a database name mat and then it will use the name of the database name mat and then it will create a table name compute. The table compute will have the following properties, such as the ID number, which is a integer data type, and it is auto-generated. Every time that we add a record, the first ID number begins at 1, and it will generate the next record when we store another record, and then the ID number will uh, uh, be ID number 2 and then followed by ID number 3 and so on. The first decimal property has a decimal uh, data type that has a 30 uh, digits with two decimal digits followed by the second de decimal sum and difference. The assigned primary key for the table compute is the ID number. These are the codes for the server side written in PHP programming language. The line uh, dollar text ID number is equal to dollar underscore post uh, text ID number will receive the ID number value from the client uh, PC via Ajax commands. I declared some global variables such as the dollar XML data to format and uh, prepare the XML package and then dollar message to hold or store the feedback message dollar server to indicate the server localhost dollar user to indicate the username root dollar db password which is empty no password and then dollar database indicating the name of the database mat The following PHP commands will instantiate 
a uh, database object using the database class name dollar mathdb and it will uh, uh, pass three arguments the global variables dollar server dollar user and dollar db password and then followed by the uh, decision command with a uh, condition it will call the method connect if it the the server pc will try to connect to the mysql database engine or maria database engine to connect using the specified localhost root and then the empty password if it returns a true that means we connected our php command to access the database name mat and then uh, the next command will call the method select database and then we pass the name of the database to select which is mat if the result is true it will now call the function delete record to delete the record This is the definition of the function delete record. It will first access the global variables in this line dollar mathdb dollar message dollar text id number followed by the uh, string containing the command the sql command to delete from the table name compute with a where close uh, id number will uh, be compared to the global variable dollar text id number so it will delete only one record because the where close uh, try to match if the id number is equal to the uh, input uh, id number uh, which was received by our server php followed by it will call the method execute to execute that uh, delete from command and then the the result will uh, store to that uh, variable dollar result if the value of the dollar result is not equal to zero the feedback this dollar message will have a feedback the record is deleted successfully otherwise the feedback the record is failed to delete Under the server side, the continuation of the code from the delete.php, the dollar XML data will now store now the result containing the dollar message uh, feedback, containing the string of feedback. And then it will uh, package that and then followed by the method call header to set up the header for the XML and then followed by the for echo to um fulfill the sending of that uh, xml package whose name was output and send it to the client pc that ends our topic for today i hope you are inspired in my class thank you for watching god bless us